the last one, your commitment. Your commitment to the Lord. Solomon, in all of his wisdom, inspired by the Holy Spirit, says, Do not turn to the right or to the left. Keep your foot from evil. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Keep your foot from evil. There's a trend in 21st century American Christianity to wear down the boundaries that we should have as followers of Jesus. And we justify it in so many ways. Well, it doesn't seem that bad. By the way, the most dangerous words you could ever say is it's not that bad. That is poison to the life of a believer. And, and what happens is that I, I've seen godly boundaries. And, and those boundaries are not set by your opinion. Because your opinions can change. Nor are those boundaries set by your upbringing. Because even that can wear off after a while. For example, some of you, maybe you were raised in a bit of a legalistic type of upbringing where basically if you enjoyed it, it was a sin. Okay, do you like it? Yes. Repent. (laughs) And so as you've you've grown up, you've seen that some of those standards that you had they're not there anymore, right or wrong. They're just not there. This happens with all of us. So how do we form our boundaries so that our heart is guarded by the Holy Spirit? How do we form those boundaries? It's through what the Word of God has to say. See, because opinions change and methods change And the culture changes, but God's word never does. And that's why your moral compass has got to be the word of God. How you do things, it's got to be defined by, filtered through the word of God. It's got to be the Bible. It can't be anything else because everything else changes. It it can be wishy-washy. My goodness, what was not accepted 10 years ago, is now accepted. We don't know what a woman is now. How did that happen? We, we whittled down our, our boundaries. I thought there were two genders. Now there seems to be 666 of them. Man, that was funny. (laughs) That was really funny. It's like, what's the Bible say? I mean, the Bible defines all of this. The Bible defines all of this. And so while the culture might say this, and while entertainment might say that, what's the Bible say? And that's what we have to ask ourselves constantly. My boundaries will be defined by the Word of God. My boundaries will be defined by my relationship with Jesus Christ. And that might not be popular. It might not be accepted by everybody. But it'll be accepted by Him. And and I promise you, when we dip our toe into the pool of, of compromise, we have opened up a breach that exposes our hearts to the wrong things. We dare not do that. We dare not do that. Galatians chapter 5, verse 13. I'm going to close it with this, Jonathan, if you could help me. For you've been called to live in freedom, my brothers and sisters, but don't use your freedom to satisfy your sinful nature. Instead, use your freedom to serve one another in love. That's what we're called to do. 
Well, God set me free so I can do whatever I want. No. No. That's not the freedom that Jesus gives us. Jesus doesn't give you freedom to sin. He gives you freedom from sin. Oh, man. I should say that again. Jesus doesn't give you the freedom to sin. Yay, I can get my get out of hell free card on Sunday. No. Jesus gives us the freedom from it. If I stay true to the Lord, I don't turn to the right, I don't turn to the left, I don't even go where, where it's evil. Folks, if, if, if you have to run from temptation, do it. Do it. If you've got to shop somewhere else, do it. If you've got to take a different way to work to keep you from sinning, it's worth it. It's worth it. Because we don't want to expose our hearts to the wrong thing. So this morning, above all else, this school year, above all else, the rest of this year, the rest of our lives, I want to challenge you to guard your heart. Amen. 